Welcome back to WOW TV. I'm Blake Duffy here at Stillwaters Dental Group with Dr. Grossman. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Good to see you. We are talking about concussions, mouth guards, and protection for the head. I'm coming up to hockey season and my coach is really stressed that we use mouth guards. What's the importance of a mouth guard? The importance of a mouth guard is that it helps protect the teeth and the tissues in the mouth um, from taking an injury. So a custom mouth guard, what we make here in the office, where we actually take an impression of your teeth, um, we pour it up in stone, we get our lab technician then to fabricate a, a mouth guard that fits specifically onto your teeth, it'll only fit inside your mouth. Um, what the mouth guard itself does, well, it'll prevent the teeth from taking a fracture, um, you knocking it, getting a tooth knocked out, or cutting the lips or the gum tissue. I know that I can walk to the store and get a $10 mouth guard and be done with it. Where I could come here and get a, a, a proper fitted mouth guard, what's the benefit for um, strictly play? The benefit of having um, a custom fit guard is it's not as big and as bulky. We find uh, a lot of parents coming in to the office just saying their child isn't wearing the mouth guard that they bought over the counter because it's too big, it's too bulky. They're chewing on it more than wearing it. They can't breathe right. Because these are more conservative, it tends to fit better, more comfortable, and it's doing the job it's supposed to do. Okay, so mouth guards, very, very important. Now, I also, I, I wear a full cage at my age, and we have to wear helmets. Now, what's the difference between a full cage and a half cage helmet? So, a full cage will protect the entire face, covers the whole face and all that. The half cage that we have here, if you put that on, leaves the lower half to the lower third of the face exposed. The problem with that is now you're more susceptible to taking a stick to the face, taking a puck to the face, taking um, uh, or falling and causing damage or a fracture to the jaw. We see more fractures, um, jaw fractures, tooth fractures, with people who are wearing the half cage, no cage, half visors as opposed to full cages. Okay, and, and also very important for concussions too, right? Because I, I know I have a lot of friends that play in the OHL and they don't wear anything anymore. And I'm coming up to the age where I can't play hockey, competitive hockey. I end up in a men's league. Um, is, it, is it also very good for concussions? So the, the literature evidence for mouth guards and concussions is based on anecdotal evidence. It's suggestive that if we look at the skull, that the, the mouth card, which is about four millimeters thick, will cushion around the teeth so that if you take a hit or a blow to the head or to the body and your lower jaw moves, that it'll insulate that impact. As well, when we open our mouth, the jaw joint will move away from the base of the skull and move down and forward. So it's suggested that the mouth guard will actually keep the mouth open to such a degree that the lower jaw is not in direct contact with the base of the skull so that when you do take a, a bad hit that the force of that transmission is not into the temporal area of the skull which will also shake the head a little bit. So the third point that the evidence is suggesting the mouth guard does is the mouth guard will help stabilize um, the head. So when you have the mouth guard in, um, you tend to be flexed down into the mouth guard itself, which flexes the muscles that you use to close your mouth and your shoulders and your neck. So you're more braced in order to, say, take a hit. Even if you're not aware of the hit, your, your body is a little more supported. A more stabilization in the head, neck and shoulders area will minimize the shaking of the head which also minimizes uh, um, the potential of a concussion. So the evidence is anecdotal, it's not been proven, but all the leagues are adopting it just because they want to minimize the risk of a concussion. Basically, full cage with a mouth guard is the best way to go. We don't see many fractures with kids who have full cages. All the fractures that I've seen is patients who have no cage or half visors or a half cage where their whole lower jaw is exposed and all that and that's where we see all the trauma coming in. So never go without a full cage. Some great tips, thank you. Well, now that you've said that, let's, let's get to work on this mouth guard. Stay tuned for more fun stuff on WOW TV.